Hi folks, it's Dr. D again from Evoca Water Technologies. I want to talk to you today a little bit about troubleshooting on your hydraulic systems. Now I've got a filter press here and it seems to have a little bit of an issue going on. But before we take a look at anything, as always, let's talk about safety. I got the safety glasses on, I got the proper PPE for working on this type of machine. And again, if you don't feel comfortable with it, give us a call, we'll come out and we'll help you. So let's take a look at, at this filter press and see what's going on. I hear what sounds like the pump may be still going. So let's take a look inside the cabinet, see what we have going on. We've got a real emergency here. Nurse, crescent wrench. Towel. Allen wrench. I think we've saved another one. High fives. Now what you've just witnessed was a reenactment of a real life situation. But let's walk through what just happened. A lot of times you're going to run into an instance where your pump continues to run. I hear this all the time. People call me all the time about it. Let me walk you through a couple steps on how to troubleshoot that. In a lot of cases, in the first place I would look is your relief valve. Now every system has a relief valve and it's there because we don't want to overpressurize the machine. In this system, the relief valve is located right here. Now what you need to do is first start with your crescent wrench. There's a little keeper. You need to put that on there. Loosen it up so that you can make the adjustments that you need to. With the 3 8 Allen wrench, put it into the relief valve, and as you turn it clockwise, it increases the pressure. Turning counterclockwise will decrease the pressure. So by turning that in, we have now closed that relief valve up and stopped the pump from running. Now a couple other reasons why your pump might be still running. There's a regulator here to regulate the air, and that's how we initially set these pumps up. Now if that's set too high, it might continue to run as well. Or you have a muffler here where everything exhausts, and on the bottom of that muffler is a little plastic cup. If you pull that cup off and you've got oil in there, then there's a good chance that you've got oil bypassing the seals of the cylinder. In which case, you need to call us and we will help you out getting that cylinder fixed. So that's probably the three most common reasons why your pump would continue to run. Now keep in mind, if the pump is running and it's going across the relief or some other orifice, it's going to create heat. So a lot of times you can just put your hand on there and find out where it's, where it's leaking through. That'll help troubleshoot and get you to the right point. For more of these kind of tips, and if you have any questions or you want us to come out and take a look at your system for you, please call us here at Evoca Water Technologies. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.